Yeah, hello, yeah, here we are again today in the nice part of uh, West Wales in, uh, in December of all times. We're here to uh, do a bit of foraging, see what we can get and uh, cook up what we get later on. It's important that when you, when you lift stones up, you put it back. But while we're here, you can see we're picking up these lovely big periwinkles. So we'll put, we'll put the stone back. And a few of the nice winkles to eat. And that's, that's an actual dog well. But there's a nice big periwinkles. But if there's an abundance in one area, don't take it all. Always leave some and then move to another area. There's a couple there. There. Move across. Keep moving. So that, you know, there's not... You don't deplete one area. Right, this next... Do it now. This next to these mermaid purses. Let's have a look at under this flat stone. Flat stones are normally good. And what's there? Ah, there we are. A little velvet swimming crab and a little three beaded rockling and another little santo crab and, and underneath as you can see all these white calcareous tubes they, they're um, keel worms these are called the worm lives inside there we'll put it back Do you want to film that? Do we clout? Nice thing, lad. There we go. Put him in the basket now. Now we swimming crab. There. Come across now. There we are. This is a nice whelk. We'll uh, eat him later on. Whelks are carnivorous snails that eat uh, dead animals, I suppose. Any dead fighters they find. Like dead fish or dead crabs, and uh, very tasty. Quite yeah. They're aggressive, aren't they? Those? Oh yes, yeah, big time aggressive. There we are. He's coming out to have a fight. So these these xantho crabs just stay there, and the velvet swimming crabs come back here. They like having a fight, they do. We'll put him in the basket. And we'll just put a couple of big ones as well. If I can lift it up. Two, three, five, four, oh, nice one. Oh, what's this? Nice. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, he'll, uh, nice little bit of a forage there. He'll go in with his mates. Already. Huh? <laughs> They're having a fight already. Yeah. Yeah, we've come across now this red seaweed. It's called dulse and it's delicious. So we'll cut a bit off, put it in a bag there. And in Ireland, dulse is a delicacy. They dry it out and eat it like, like crisps. Very nutritious. It's got the highest uh, content of any vitamin K natural source in the world, I believe. Yeah, a nice little cache of, uh, of winkles and a little baby edible crab. Yeah, we've got enough so we leave those uh, as they were. And down in there, if you can focus in Chris, there's an edible crab hiding away. Can you see what's under this one then? If I can lift it, I hope. Let's have a look. Oh yes, look at that. A nice three, three bearded rockling there. And we'll forage him now, we'll catch him, and we'll put him in the basket, get the basket first. Yep, get the basket, and the thing is, they're very energetic, and they flap, and they... Up, there we are. Nice one. We're going to a meal later on.
Ja? Nice. In the... You filming? Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, try him. Yeah. We'll leave, it, leave it as it is. This is the right much. way up then, yeah. So that's good enough, we we'll lead him. Got another one, yeah. yeah. He's lost the claw. He's lost his claw, fighting or whatever, growing them back. So we'll, uh, we'll put him in the back. Oi, get out of there. <laughs> yeah, can film this bit? Picked up this now. It's a sea cucumber. So when the, when the tide comes in, it'll put his little tentacles out in the water column and grab you know, grab the plankton. A lobster? A small lobster. Small. <laughs> right, way too small. But what we'll do to show that we do get him by hand, we'll uh, put him back. Put him back yeah, yeah, cool. There we are. <laughs> right, I feel him by his head. So, hey, boy. Not a bad one, is he? Yeah. Leave him alone. What are you doing, boy? Leave him alone, Clow. <laughs> Here we go, we got enough. So which which is the this is the biggest one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the biggest one. Let's put him in the basket. And what we do now? Get rid of the smaller one. We've got two nice rock limbs now. So the other one we caught earlier on, we put him back in because we don't need him. There's plenty plenty of them. Put the crabs and the shellfish in to cook now in the boiling water, they've been killed previously. The wrinkles. Cut the velvet in there. And it'll take about a good five minutes. Let's put the fish in now, the three beaded rocklin. It'll go in there. Inside. Looks good. Delicious. Hungry, we've got some Maybe fish stuff. Oops. Oh no, That's sandy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's the whelks and the... Delicious. So we eat them as a starter, is it? And then we'll have couscous yeah. and uh, couscous with crab and uh, various other bits and bobs. Lovely. Right, we're well, yeah. going to eat tucking some of these as a starter. Yeah. Some so we'll see you walking away, get some fresh water. We're warming the fresh water now for the couscous, and we're putting in uh, wild chives and the chopped wild garlic. Also put in some roasted crushed lobster shells. A little bit of flavour. And these which are pickled garlic seeds which I pickled uh, in uh, Saturday May. Yeah. We can boil up now. Give yeah. it a bit, bit, bit of body now. We'll put in some uh, dulse and some sea lettuce. Put them in and they'll. Yeah. 
Here we are, there's Ploughshare. We'll have some of that. <laughs> anyway, some more. Go, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we are, here's our couscous now with our seafood with uh, Santo crab, a velvet swimming crab with uh, wild chives, uh, different seaweeds, whelks and periwinkles and of course crab meat.